I think for a lot of this team, you know, it was just nice to just be able to get away, come back, and then get back to work. Uh, you know, honestly, uh, I, I think it, I think it's great. I think it's tremendous. I think that it was also a challenge, you know, trying to see if these guys can really run the ball, and I think they proved that. Of course, you know, there's small things that we need to fix, uh, but just as a whole, you know, we're continuing to play and compete. Uh, which you couldn't be uh, happier with, with, you know, what this team has kind of been through over the years. I've got to talk for Roger. If, if Nate is able to come back this week and play, yeah. you guys to kind of keep the group. It kind of goes without saying, but how important is it to kind of keep the group together? How much would it benefit you if you guys are able to stay healthy or that stretch? I mean, it, it would benefit us greatly. And, you know, I, I just want to say, like, uh, you know, you, you guys see it's on the practice field. You guys see what we're doing, but we're doing a lot of stuff off the field as well to try to make sure that we come in week after week and, and, and play to the best of our ability. Um, you know, hopefully we can stay healthy during the stress and keep this this line congruent with you know the five starters. Uh, but you know, really just proud of the way that other guys have stepped up as well. So just you know, kind of proud of the O line as a whole. Another guy coming back potentially Julio here. Yeah. Huge buzz. I remember you talking about the excitement of him during training camp. He could be back in this weekend. What, what would it mean to this team for him to pop into the lineup and, and add some juice? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we would love to see that. But, you know, it's also about, you know, just being able to see, see him go out there and get some success as a Titan. You know I mean? that You know, he works hard. We know that he's here every day. Uh, you know, really works on trying to take care of his body. So, I mean, uh, I think that we're all excited to see what he can do. He adds another element on the field that is going to, you know, help our offense. And, and, you know, he's able to make tremendous plays. We, we've already seen that. So, you know, just kind of get that to go consistently and, and, and really make a strong push to the end of the season. Todd Downing said today that Ryan Tannehill's numbers don't necessarily tell his whole story this season. Right. Um, what, I mean, what have you thought about your quarterback just in the situations he's been in and just the rotating, you know, talent that's been on uh, he's just a, he's just a great leader. He's just a tremendous leader. You know, tremendous character. You know, he works really hard. Uh, you know, he takes great hits in the pocket and just keeps coming. He's ready every single week. You know, we've had injuries at, in our wide receiver room. You know, we've had inconsistencies here and there. People couldn't practice. Uh, you know, it's just a lot of things that he's kind of had to go through. And, and all he's done is not complain about anything and just keep on keeping his head down, keep on working. And, and we're sitting here eight and four with great opportunity in front of us. That probably motivates you guys too. Is just. Linemen and, and going through injuries as yourself, that, that you just can't think of excuses. You got to just kind of keep moving forward. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I would, I would go ahead and say that's the mindset of our group entirely. Roger, what, what from the last game can you guys take to the run game? Uh, just try to use that momentum to just continue to carry us forward. Uh, but of course, you know, that's not the only part of our game and we got to keep on working on the fine details to try to make sure we're more efficient in all phases of the offense. So, Roger, you go, you're going to wear two different cleats, one for yes. anxiety and depression association of America, one for the C4 Foundation. Yes. Why'd you pick those calls and why maybe they're important to you? Uh, yeah, so, uh, of course, the, the, the C4 Foundation is also uh, called the Chuck Heavy, Heavy Foundation at first. It was for a Navy SEAL who risked his life to save his, his team. And uh, one of my best friends is actually really, really close to him. And, you know, I just wanted to help support. I've, I've seen his gravesite. You know, uh, it's, it's just tremendous uh, to be able to do the things I do and have the freedom that I have. So I wanted to be able to, sh to show that off. And then as far as the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, of course, I've had my own. We've seen a lot of people come out and bring it up, and I've kind of dealt with mine behind closed doors. But everybody knows about last year and what I've had to deal with. Uh, some tough goals. I've had nothing but support from, from Vrabel and, and J-Rob and uh, you know, it was, it was up to me to just, you know, kind of come out here every single day and, and be able to play and, and do this football game. So uh, for me, it's just to spread more awareness. And, and I think that people need to look at this mental health as something serious.